All right, major announcement, major alert. If you use a hardware wallet, if you are doing any type of on-chain activities, you've been actually required to stop. This is what we're getting online. A lot of alerts are coming. It's a big time, large scale supply chain hack. We'll get into the bottom of it. Let's go. All right, so this is a major, major situation. If you're using a hardware wallet, you might want to check this out. Now, we're going to get into the post. This is from Charles Gilman. He's a CTO of Ledger. This is what he posted, and we'll get into the Substack as well. There's a large scale supply chain hack in progress. The NPM account of a reputable developer has been compromised. The affected packages have already been downloaded over 1 billion times, meaning the entire JavaScript ecosystem is at risk. The malicious payload works by suddenly swapping crypto addresses on the fly to steal funds, your funds. Now, let's get into a little bit more. If you use a hardware wallet, pay attention to every transaction before signing and you'll be safe. If you do not use a hardware wallet, refrain from making any on-chain transactions for now this is a big statement now it's still unclear whether the attacker is also stealing seeds from software wallets directly at this stage now this is crazy now he had a sub post here as well it says if you are using ledger or hardware wallets with clear signing you are not at risk my tweet above is warning people who do not use hardware wallets with clear signing of the risks also always review every transaction before you sign and i always say this if you listen to me you know i always talk about this beware of what you're doing beware of what you're signing Beware of what you're clicking. It's all on you. And this is basically what he's saying, but this is a whole nother level. Let's get into the substack. All right, so we're at the substack. Let's get into it. Here's an update from the author. Now, the author has been notified by the active team. They're actually working on a solution to resolve this particular issue at this point in time with the NPM security breach. The malicious code has already been removed from most of the affected packages and the situation is being remediated. Now, let's get into this. What actually happened, right? A supply chain attack compromised the NPM account of developer QIX, leading to malicious versions of the dozens of high impact packages that were being published. Now, what is the impact? The combined weekly download of the affected packages exceeded 1 billion. This is gonna be very hard to contain. Let's continue. Posing a significant threat to the JavaScript ecosystem across the board. What does the malware do? Let's get into what it does. The payload is a crypto clipper that steals funds by swapping wallet addresses in network requests and directly hijacking the crypto transaction. This is nasty work. This is very nasty code. Now, how do you protect yourself? You need to immediately audit your project's dependencies, pin all affected packages to their last known safe versions using the overriding feature in the package, Josen. This is very interesting what's going on here. And again, I'll put a link to the subsect so you can get involved with the technicalities, but I will leave you with this. Be mindful of the situation. This is just the beginning of what's to come. This is a very nasty situation that's going on here. And a lot of you have probably already been affected by this situation. Always be mindful of what's going on in the space. And especially with your wallet, it's all on you. All right. User protection is all on you. Do not click on anything mischievous. If it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. Let me know what you think about this video and we'll see you on the next update.